everybody, what's going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common, and we are playing some more Civilization VI, continuing with our Mexico Let's Play. So, one thing I think I want to go ahead and knock out right away is let's get ourselves a builder up here, because I want to get both of these nighters. So I can start building some musket men. We can upgrade a musket men, we just can't build, correct? Because we only have one? Yes, we cannot build because we only have one nighter. Oh yeah, one nighter. We still have two iron, two horses. Um, we could trade those away if need be. Um, also probably want to look at buying a builder over in this uh, territory. Probably need one there eventually. Also, I want to build one up here because I want to start doing some haciendas. Because um, we got some really good spots up here. We can go like here and here and then probably like over there somewhere. So yeah, overall, we're in a really good position right now. We still need to keep our science and we're only at 160. We really need to keep getting that higher. Whatever we can do to get our science higher is going to be good for us. Um, you know, what's our capital doing? Is it still doing a science? No, no, it's building an industrial zone. And that's why our science isn't as good as it used to be. Oh, uh, where are we building the industrial zone? What? Oh, we're building it over there in that crap tile. Gotcha. And apparently, no one wants to live there because it's right next to the mine, which, sure. So, now everyone's going to have to go work there, so yay them. <laughs> uh, what's happening? Uh, there's an art museum in London, I saw. Uh, oh, North Korea is now denouncing me. What did I do? I did nothing, man. I literally, like, oh, I hate you. I hate you. We don't have embassies yet, do we? we commit ourselves to live in a Pastures get plus world. one food. Ooh, Devoid. Merchant Republic. Yeah. Uh, uh. We get bonus influence points in production towards defensive buildings. Um, crap. Actually, I like the bonus influence points. Not that it really helped me much. Sorry, we're going Merchant Republic, man. All right. Plus two trade routes. Plus two trade routes? Freaking heck yeah, man. Uh, so can we, like, speed up traders? Campus districts. Let's see. Faster growth on cities. I don't really care about that. Production. Culture for each specialty district. That might be good. This also would be good. Plus one culture, plus one science. International trade routes, which is every one. So we'd have seven additional science and culture. Okay. Theater district. We only have like one theater district right now. So pff. housing and especially uh, housing might be good too. Maybe. Harbor gives me more money. Don't care. Settlers, I don't care. Purchasing tiles. We're kind of done with that. Yeah, I think we're going to do one culture. Unit upgrades. We're not upgrading anymore. So, unit maintenance, please. Give me more money. Uh, Gold from each of your envoys at city-states? Sure, because we're not gaining as much envoys. And then we're doing great scientists. Oh, and we can do another one. We could do plus two influence, but once again, I don't think it matters. I think I'm almost for the plus culture. Nah, maybe we should do the housing. What are we doing, great scientists? I want great artists, but I can't do a great artist. Over. Gold from all trade routes. Well, let's see, that would be 14 gold. We're making, actually we're only making, no, we'd be two, we were 200 and something, so. Being an extra 14 or getting an extra 14 isn't that big of a deal. I think it's worth it to get the plus housing. Are you sure you want to close? Yes. Here's the thing. Do these have like, okay, you're having housing issues, correct? Yeah. Do you have three districts? No. So that doesn't really help you. You don't have three districts. You don't have three districts. The problem is because they're so condensed, I don't think we can actually ever get that. Now you have three specialty districts and housing is an issue. So that would help. Housing's not an issue for you. Housing is an issue for you, but I doubt you have three districts. Yeah, none of these guys have any districts. Yet. So even though that long-term, I think that's a really good one for us, I don't think it does anything for us right now. So once again, let's go unit maintenance. We're not upgrading, so I don't care about that. Campus, uh, we're gonna do science, um, plus one gold from our envoys, scientists. So then once again, it's plus two housing in cities with at least three specialty districts. Yeah, it just doesn't do much. I'd almost rather do the Harbor District, which would give me, you know, actually that's gonna give me significantly more gold than this one. 
Because that would be, um, most of my harbors are like plus three, so that would be plus three gold per city that I have a harbor, which would probably give me more than 14 gold. Settlers, I don't care. Production, medieval, wonders, capital. Or we could get an extra, like, three science. I think we're going to do the harbor adjacency bonus. And so we're going to at 178. It should go up significantly once we get that one and this one. We were at like two something before. 218. Eh, not as much as I had hoped. Let's see. Can we actually see here? 17 from Envoy, 190 from Cities, 50 from Deals. <laughs> we're making 50 gold from Deals. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Okay. We'll get new science. So we can get guilds. Hey, we're not last. That's good. Um, Probably want to do Resident Embassy next. And then... Potentially art museum. Because art is really good for us. In the Chinka Itza first. Commercial hub adjacency doesn't help me. Industrial zone doesn't really help me. So yeah, that's fine for now. Okay. Uh, San Cristobal de las Casas. So, de las Casas is the houses? San Cristobal? In the houses? I don't really know. I don't know what that one means. Um, we did just buy a builder here, so... Probably monument. Get more culture going. And let's go ahead and knock out that niter. You're going to actually have really good production here. You're already at seven. So we can send an envoy. How are we doing on city-states? Influenced by. I have a two lead here, so I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and send you over here. Ooh, 167. We should actually be gaining like 170-something, 175-ish now. Um, so that's wonderful. Also, did we knock anyone else off the suzerain? No, but we're one away. And then we're going to get one additional great, um, and we're not going to get that much. We'll get a few more great scientist points per turn. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Trajan declared war and Teddy Roosevelt declared war on Saladin. Dang it, Saladin. You were so close. Things were going so well for you, man. Uh, you were at only at war with like six guys. What happened? <laughs> Uh, so I think I want to put him potentially in Jerusalem. I may just leave him here just to see what's happening. Uh, not really much else for us to do right now. So next turn, sure. Russia's allies with North Korea. Russia's uh, trading with North Korea. North Korea wants to trade with me. They want an ally alliance. They're going to give me an orange for an iron and a cocoa. And 23 gold for 30... 23 gold for 30 turns. Screw it. Are you at war with anyone? Screw it. I don't care. The orange makes my people a little happier. I don't need the iron anymore. Um, And holy freaking heck! Also, we still have one more cocoa. Yeah, actually, that sounds great too. Although, I really don't want to help his science, but... I, I, that's an extra 30 gold I'm just making now from these deals. That's pretty freaking awesome. Um, I need more traders. How much do traders cost to buy? Can I just straight buy these guys? That might be good. Purchase trader. Trader, 315. Yeah, we actually might be able to afford two traders. The other thing is that was, um, I just gained that gold on their turn. So I should get a bonus when it comes back to my turn. Like that extra 30 gold should happen, right? Also, we're at 177 science. Freaking heck yeah, man. That's what I'm talking about. I think we lost open borders with some people because we lost a little bit of gold. Someone mentioned I should just keep hovering up here over our gold per turn in the 78 from deals and just keep an eye on that. And that's probably an okay idea. I would just have to remember to do it every turn because I'm constantly trading for different amounts. So it's going to be really hard to keep up with that, I think. Uh, We actually don't have... Uh, we just need... Friendship. Hi. Yay. Okay, let's go back here. Let's see who we lost open borders with. Because our gold did go down, I think. It seemed it like it did. Maybe it didn't. All right, I'm just going crazy, it looks like. Aha! Aha! I told you! <laughs> it went down! Okay, open borders, open borders, and you're going to pay me? You have no gold to pay me. Maybe if you'd stop declaring war on people. Actually, I don't know if he's been declaring war on people. 
you are actually making decent gold per turn. Wait, I was looking at the right thing, right? No, that's just general gold that you have. So, yeah. Uh, so we should be making 79 gold per turn right now uh, from deals. So uh, Japan and Greece are no longer at war. Amsterdam is at peace with Saladin. Your friendship with Chazen ran its course. Mexico City needs more housing. Yeah, we literally just talked about this. Um, you're able to have more trade routes. Yes. Okay. This is what I'm thinking. 315, we can actually buy two of these dudes. And so that gets me to six trade routes. So I need to build one more. So we'll probably build the next one just because I don't want to waste all my money on traders. Also, we need to be looking at grabbing paintings. How many more paintings can we actually grab right now? Uh, enough. Wait, where'd all my paintings go? No, he didn't take my paintings. Where did my paintings go? What? Was it? No. I had three paintings. Did I not? Yeah, you have paintings, but these aren't the religious ones. Where the heck did my paintings go? Am I going crazy? Who has my freaking paintings, man? Uh, what? You don't have them. I swear to you, I had three paintings at the end of last episode. Maybe it was last episode. I think it was last episode. Do I have to freaking pull up the video right? Why do you have my paintings? Why does he have my paintings? What freaking deal did we just trade with him? Uh. What 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 would you what did we just trade? How can I see what we just did? Your delegate trading trading, declared war, formed an alliance, declared friendship. Wait, well, this is trading is with North Korea, America, uh, declared war. I just want to make sure Rome declared friendship with Brazil, Khmer, Poland, Russia, Rome. Learn that Rome has built commercial hub. Learn that Rome is trading with Mexico. Did we just trade him and I missed this? Is there no way for me to actually see previous trades? I actually don't know if you can actually view previous trades at all. Hi. Good trade relations. What the heck? How did you get my paintings, man? Reports. See status. Flaps all. What the heck did I do? How the heck? It wasn't last episode, right? Hold up. I'm pulling up last episode. I don't think you guys can see this. Uh, that was 23, correct? Everybody. Shut up, Brian. Uh, hi. Do we have any trading with Rome here? I'm just I'm scanning through really quickly. I this is like kind of bugging me. Okay, so we are at the we are at the 16 minute mark, and I have three freaking paintings. Gorgo, Teddy, Saladin. We did a lot of like talking. So there was nothing there. So did I just accidentally trade with him? For those paintings? I am like so freaking confused right now. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a quick cut in this. I'm gonna reload today. <laughs> like I'm gonna reload all these turns I'll probably play through them again and catch up where we're at and figure out what the heck was going on also what turn was this loading in on what turn did we end 23 with assuming this is 24 Hello, Brian I said shut up so we ended this with what turn is this 228 okay I'm also I can't like 
technically watch the video while I'm recording it, so I kind of want to go back and see if I made any trades during this episode. So anyways, uh, we'll be back in just a second after I figure out what the heck's going on. Yeah, so figured it out. Bad North Korea. Bad freaking North Korea. So apparently that's what was happening and apparently then North Korea traded it to Rome So they got it from me and then immediately traded it away like what the heck also can we just like make this deal without that? Okay And you're still gonna do the same thing so sure so that's probably why he was willing to offer me 20 freaking three gold per turn Still not worth it. Not worth it. And that frustrates me a little bit. Okay. We good. We good. I know I should have scrolled down. That's kind of on me. I was so freaking confused because I pulled up the last episode. I had it. I pulled up, you know, the save and at the beginning of the uh, beginning of my turn, I had it. And I'm like, what the heck? So I was wondering actually if Rome had built some spies and stole it from me. And I was really confused. No, no, everyone piss off. I am not trading. Oh, okay. You just want nighter. Ah. We're about to get an extra nighter. She wants an alliance. Oh, this is Poland. Ah, I don't really want to. I don't really want a writing. Like the writing doesn't do anything. For me. Now, now I'm gonna refuse the deal. I don't really care for an alliance with you. You're small. You're also not really uh, surrounding um, any of the ones who hate me. I don't think. And you'll probably just get your butt kicked. Like there's no reason for me to have an alliance with you. I think. So I'm just gonna pass that. Probably want to trade away the stuff. Um, hey, declare friendship. Who also didn't have... Uh, you don't have money. Correct? No. Uh, probably want to trade away my extra nighter before people start asking me for it. Uh, hey, we want uh, to do open borders. Open borders. You're going to give me my one gold per turn, please. Thank you. Accept deal. Cool. All right. So we're at 79 gold. Wait, 55. Oh, crap. Uh, 55. 55 is the number now, Brian. <laughs> uh, we knew about all this, I think. Um, oh, yeah, and we want to buy two more trade routes. So I hit the wrong button. Actually, speaking of trade routes, uh, we want, I think, Rome probably still. 10 gold, 2 and 2. 2, 1. I, like, I just feel like we're going to get the most science. We actually get 3 from here. But only seven gold and only one culture. I don't think the one science is worth it though. Two and two, only six gold, but we do get a production. Eh, seven gold, two, two, one, one. I'm really kind of looking at science first. I think if we can get two science from Rome, I don't know, we can do better than that. Yeah, and we get a production there too. Yeah, that's just significantly better than London. All right, we gonna roll with Rome. Uh, repeat route, please. Thank you. Um, and then come back to my capital and we bought ourselves two traders. And now we're all caught up again. All right. We probably want to look at buying more paintings, but I may want to look at selling off my nighter first. So, North Korea, hi. I will give you one of my nighters. Actually, I'll give you one of my iron. And you want an alliance, right? Where you you're actually only at war with Saladin, so sure. And we'll call an alliance. And what will you give me for this? Wait, what? What will you give me for that? 23 gold just for that. So yeah, actually, I will totally take this for 23 gold. Sure. Okay, do you still want an alliance? Will you pay me gold for this? Will pay me gold for this. How much gold will you pay me for this? Five gold. All right, okay, 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 okay. I'm better with this now. So what are we making per turn? 56 from deals. I feel like that didn't update properly. We just made 23. We made 23 gold per turn, right? Not 23 gold flat. Oh, I hope I didn't screw that one up. <laughs> uh, did I screw that one up? Do I just need to quit for the evening? 
It is a little later than I'm used to recording. I mean, it's like 7.30, and I've been like working all freaking day since like the moment I woke up, so my brain is a little on the fried side. Hence the really stupid decisions. Or how about the more stupid decisions? I mean, anytime you record freaking on YouTube, you tend to make dumb decisions just because you're trying to, you know, concentrate on your commentary and provide interesting commentary, while also, you know, like, not making stupid decisions. Oh, he actually likes me now. Well, he doesn't like me, but, you know, he doesn't hate me. He's just saying that because of everyone who's trying to declare war, like, everyone who declare war on him. So, you will pay me this sculpture for one of my nighter, and an alliance. What would you give me for this? 14 gold for 30 turns and the statue. Sure, take it. I'll, I'll give her the nighter, that's fine. She's been one of my most valuable allies. Also, she is pretty close to, you know, I probably should only trade my nighter to the people who are right next to the people that might declare war on me. I think she's one of those that would actually come protect me. Actually, we're not an ally with her. We should probably be an ally with her then. Hi, I know you like to declare war on everyone. Be my ally. Be my ally, won't you be my ally, ally. That's be my lover from like 6,000 years ago. Apparently I like really old uh, dance music. Would that be dance music? I guess that'd be dance music. Um, Okay, so now we're allies, so. Hell yeah. Okay, this should be significantly higher. 94 from deals, sweet. 23, woo! We didn't make a mistake, yeah. Amsterdam declared war. We need friendship with Gilgamesh and Yavarman. And uh, okay, so, hi. Uh, declare friendship, perhaps. Yes, we just fixed our open borders with you. Gilgamesh, declare friendship, yes. But, oh, he actually has gold now. Oh yeah. Nope, he won't take it. Sorry, man. I don't trade away my love for free. You gotta pay me. Uh, okay. I think we want to just hang out here and just go on alert, just because I kind of want to see what's happening over here with these, um, everyone declaring war on them. Can we go to Rome? No, we already have a trader out to Rome. No one else is going to give me two signs either, right? Yeah, no. London, but not, in, not as much gold. So let's transfer you, you to Leon. Can we see where our trade routes currently are going? No. There might be a way. Is there a map? Lens? For trade? Doesn't look like it. It'd be really nice if I could see it. Uh, let's go to Hermosilio. And then go to Rome from there. I feel like we've already sent trade routes for Hermosilio, though. Okay. We don't have enough money to buy any paintings. We don't really have enough money to buy anything quite yet. Um... What are we looking at here? You currently, we really need more mines? Well, these are giving me good food too. What does the Hacienda give us? One more time. Hacienda gives us plus two food, plus two culture and housing. So that would give me three food, one production and a bunch of culture. This is gonna give me one three. Yeah, I feel like the Hacienda is better. So let's go knock out the Hacienda first. Okay, let's go one more turn, I think. We're pretty much at 20 minutes, but I want to go a little longer because this has been a stupid episode. I probably should keep this episode shorter because it's been a stupid episode in which I'm liable to make a lot of mistakes that could potentially, you know, hamper <sighs> us long term. I mean, okay, let's not be so dramatic. It seems unlikely I could actually make a decision that would hamper me long term, but still. <laughs> <laughs> Allying with Gilgamesh. That's your long-term screw-up. We want to buy a builder here. Oh, hey, she denounced me yet again. You know what? No one really gives a crap about me, you. Oh, she's denounced me because I'm weak. Huh. Well, probably true there, especially since we haven't upgraded any of our units yet, but hey. We're allied with half of the map, so <laughs> someone declare war on me, I dare ya. I guess that's the one problem with this mod is you can just ally with so many guys that if anyone declares war on you, it's just like, GG. You know, we should almost maybe send a dude up here. Can he get to Rome from up here? London? Get to London? I don't think we can get to Rome. Where the heck is Rome? Oh. Uh, actually, I think we could. 
I think we could. Can you go to Rome? Yes. I'm going to be a slight idiot, and I think I'm going to move him up to San Luis. And we're going to hope we can get to Rome from there. I think we should be able to. What is it? It's like 30 tiles or something like that that you can go to. Um, but yeah, I really want to take you all the way to Rome. I think that would be really, really powerful. Uh, fishing boats? Sure. That sounds good. What else we got? We have another trader down here. And we're going to send him to Rome. We get an extra gold coming from there. Also going to get him extra production down there. So that's pretty good. And it looks like we're done with this turn as well. So... Yeah, I guess for now we're going to wrap up this episode. <laughs> we're trading with every freaking city state here, which is hilarious. We're kind of like the central hub. And this city is actually really powerful too. But it's kind of like the central hub of the new continent. What is the name of this new continent? I don't think we ever looked. Um, a Panotia. Hmm, all right. Is this whole continent the same name? Actually, it is. Yeah, that's cool. So is all of this one continent as well? most of it yeah we got that and then we, yeah okay we just really lucked out and ended up in essentially australia <laughs> where there's no one so that kind of worked out very well for us so monterey needs more housing can't do anything about that and um actually we got sanitation so we do have housing incoming pretty quickly so we're gonna be good there but anyways hope you guys are enjoying and if you are drop a like go ahead and comment let me know what you think as always hit the subscribe button join the game comment and show your support i'll see you guys next time Bye.